I'm the guitar player and backup vocalist. Um, our biggest thing right now is the video you have on screen, which is our newest song, Toxin. Why the why the drastic change from from sacrilege to Toxin? So I, I think it's more of like an internal thing. We've always wanted to be versatile, and we were kind of in a position where we kind of couldn't. And I know we debated kind of back and forth whether or not. Um, we would, you know, play around with it or if we wanted to make it like a permanent thing. And we kind of felt some pressure that if we made a big change, we'd lose a lot of our, you know, fan base that we had. But I think ultimately we decided to just play what we wanted to play regardless of the outcome because it's music that we were honestly just writing and couldn't do anything with, but we had a lot of pride in it. So we were just like, you know what, we're just going to, do our own thing and if it works it works if it doesn't at least we're doing what we what we want and that's true you got to be happy rolled with you got to be happy with the music yeah. you're making man. and and uh, it's cool that you guys are so versatile we'll obviously play sacrilege as well uh, we did spin toxin a second ago while we were waiting for you but you know what let's do it again i like your i like your like just aura behind you with the blue glowing light and the wall of guitars and stuff it's it looks fancy how many guitars do you own you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> we can't hear you. We can't hear you. My bad. There you go. So what I was saying was, is I kind of got the recording set up behind me. Uh, but I saw, started out with only having two. Like, I had one that I played on stage and then one that I just recorded with. And then one day I was like, man... I want a guitar that has really pretty cleans and that's all it does. It's all it's going to be good for. And then I kind of just went down the rabbit hole of guitars that are only good for one thing. And I ended up getting like six or seven of them. And I've pretty much kept it. I know these two are empty, but that's because they're in cases for we when we play on the road and stuff. So each one has like a specific job just for yeah. a certain tone or a certain song or and speaking of who did you guys go yeah. to? Who do you go to for your audio re recordings? We did that all in house. Dang! What do you What do you use? Us. What do you What's your What's your DAW system? Pro Tools, Logic, Reaper. Reaper. <laughs> Dang! That's uh That's impressive. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's dive into uh, Sacrilege. The one we were bringing up a little earlier, uh, mentioning that you guys had like a drastic change in sound, and I mean drastic. The who thought of the arf arf? By the way. So we're all big fans of Spite. We may not, um, or Spite and Knock Loose, we, we may not, you know, write as heavy as they do, but we still jam that shit from Traders, you know, Spite, uh, Knock Loose, all kinds of crazy heavy stuff. And we were recording that song and we're like, you know what would be really cool? Let's, and we just, we were honestly playing around with like, let's do it, let's throw an ARF in there. That'd be hilarious. And we did it and it, it fit. So we're like, you know what? We're not going to, we're not going to change it. It works. Go with it. It's cool. And it's something like stands out. When we first heard it, I was like, was that an ARF? Like instead of a blah, it was totally, ah, it's just cool. What, yeah. What, do the do the fans appreciate the new sound? Or were you correct? And some of them were like, it's not for me. I mean, I'm sure that that is the case. But do, did most of them were like, you know what? I'm cool with a couple of softer songs because they still got the heavy. So, so I think it's kind of like a, a give and take thing. I know for sure we had a few fans that were like, man, I thought y'all were going to do something different. So we for sure, I don't want to say lost some, but at least they weren't happy with what we just put out. But on the other hand, we had a lot of new people go, wow, this is like, I've never heard of you guys. This is awesome. And it, it definitely helped us get new fans. But we also had promoters going like, hey, I dig that new track. I think you'd be a good you know, band for you know our bar. And I was like, we're actually getting like venues that are calling us and like hey hell yeah like that was a completely different ball game versus when we were really heavy we have to call the venues right now that's cool hell yeah that's awesome yeah! let's show them how heavy uh you guys are hey really quick chats chat wants me to ask what what's up with uh amarillo 
Does that make sense? Bomber, yeah, you're talking about the, the chick in the video? I don't know. It just says, ask him about Amarillo. Armar, 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 Amarillo? Armor, Armor? I have no idea. Oh, it says because a bunch of people in Texas canceled your guys' shows after they were they found out you were too heavy. Amarillo. Okay. So, okay, okay. Yeah, so we're from Texas. Amarillo is a... Uh, is a city kind of towards the the west and we tried booking there i think three different times we were trying to to basically make like a weekend or tour type thing where we hit amarillo and then hit kansas and then hit colorado and the first time we reached out to amarillo um the band we sent them toxin and they were like oh yeah awesome like yeah we want to have you and then like a few days later they called back and like hey so we checked out some of your other songs, and we think y'all are too much. We think what? it's too heavy for our, our bar. And I was like, uh, oh, oh, like we were just like, okay. And then we ended up calling a few other venues in Amarillo, which apparently the one that actually contacted us back was across the street. And they said the same thing. We sent them talks, and they were like, whoa, this is awesome. We would love to have you guys. And then we actually had that one booked for a while, and then they ended up calling us back and going, hey, so some of our our patrons like we saw we put up the ad and like they looked you guys up and apparently like y'all had like gunfights and like, <laughs> weird, like fights happen at your at shows and we're like i mean we can't control any of that but yeah that has happened um and then they referenced a video of a wall of death that we have hold on hold on hold on one second hold on one second hold on hold on hold on hold on hold up. a gunfight at the show you gotta elaborate elaborate a little bit on that one so I don't, I don't want to disparage like the promoter or the actual show because the guy is honestly an angel and like we love the shows. But what had happened was, is it was like a mixed genre show. So there was like a bunch of people there, at least three, 400 people. And what ended up happening was, I guess, some two people that were like, maybe they had, I don't know, beef of some kind. And they decided to fucking shoot it out right there at that fucking venue. So we were playing and we heard like pop, pop, pop. And it wasn't anything out of the ordinary for us from like where we grew up. So like, you know, maybe that was like off in the distance, wasn't like a big deal. And then we heard like some retaliatory, like pop, 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 pop. And then like the whole crowd started running. We we're like, what, the, what is going on here? And quite literally people ran up and like stopped us and said, y'all need to go. Y'all need to go. And we heard more shots and we're like, holy shit, there's, a, there's definitely a, a shootout going on right now. Dang, um, and we had, the show got shut down mid set, and then we all uh, we all went home. I'm glad you guys are all right, man. That's a wild one. I don't hear. Hell yeah, I love it. I love it. We don't have the most time in the world, so I want to get to some important questions. Um, what do you guys have planned the rest of 2022? What can we expect from the band? So the biggest thing we got going on right now is we were invited to play the So What Festival down here in uh, it's technically Arlington, but in the DFW area, it's a huge festival we're playing on day two and which has like the ghost inside it's got hate breed it's got knocked loose yeah there's like 200 and bands playing it uh, we got it's amazing yeah it's ridiculous if i was in texas um, i would be there really shout out to mike thing. shout out to mike zemer who set all that up for real yeah no absolutely uh i played i think three years ago four years ago now I don't remember the last time they actually did it um and that was a big huge festival honestly like a life-changing event for us playing uh so this one's definitely probably going to be the same um the other only other thing is we are hitting up the uh kansas and colorado run um we love playing out of out of our state out of our state out of our city whatever it takes we like traveling so usually yeah. any chance i get it i just try to throw that out there so if you're in kansas or colorado we're coming it's coming it's coming soon. Uh, is there plans for like another single or music video though? A m music video anytime soon also to follow up uh, Toxin? So I'm not sure exactly how much I'm allowed to disclose because as a band, I know we uh, we came across a, a plan finally, but we're honestly going to come swinging hard with about 10 songs. I'm not going to tell you how you're going to get the 10 songs, but they're coming and they're all bangers. I can say that because I helped. Excellent. Hell yeah, it's coming soon. That's awesome. Uh, Jameson, my final question for you before we let you go, sir, is what is a piece of advice that someone has given you that you can share with us 
Or what is a mistake you made earlier in, in your career that you don't want any starting up band to make? Um, I would say piece of advice. I'm not going to say that someone told me. They probably told me in some way, shape, or form. But this is a lot harder than you think it is. And unfortunately, the way time has gone and the way things have evolved, you can't just be good at one thing. If you're a really good guitar player and that's it, it's only going to get you so far. So invest your time and all the extra stuff, learning how to like do your own graphic design, learning how to do like I record a bunch at home. So we kind of get the pre pro stuff done ASAP. So we don't have to wait on anybody. You have to have multiple hats, have to have multiple hats. Um, and that's my number one advice is learn as fast as you can, as much as you can. Uh, and everything that is involved with bands or music, if that's what you want to do, don't just focus on the one thing. You have to have the whole picture in mind. That's great um, advice. That's about it. You know what? I think we actually have time for about five more minutes. So I do want to do some trivia. Let's see if we can get a wheel spin for you. Maybe you can get a prize or torture me. We'll see what happens. I want to know what you know the most about. What do you binge watch that you've seen so many times? Maybe you've seen every Simpsons. Maybe you're a Star Wars fan. What do you know the most about in the music or TV show world? Uh, in the it could be so anything. I Dexter, Breaking Bad. Decently, I'm decently skilled at um, Star Wars, Breaking Bad, and Dexter. To be honest with you, um, that's Dexter. probably my top three. I nailed Sorry, it with the know. Dexter. Hell yeah! So let's do a Dexter question. Uh, give me just a second. You down to review a band or two with me, real quick? Say that again. I'm sorry. Are you down to uh, review a band or two with me? We got time to do one <laughs> yeah, or two yeah, real quick. This is a uh, I Met a Yeti. Get a little fun, bouncy bop to it. I Met a Yeti. Yeah. Um, so most of the stuff that I can point out is probably going to be uh, stuff I've learned. But like, for instance, the lighting in that room, the blue and pink or mm -hmm. reddish kind of color theme. That's super, super common. Um, that's been an, like, especially for like metalcore. I know that's not metalcore, but for metalcore, that's been like a thing that's been going on for quite some time. And I know as a band, we try to avoid the common themes and try to think of something, like just try to do something original. I know everything's already been done before, but I, we still try to think, don't follow, try to lead. Um, so like the color theme is one thing. Um, I'm sure it, it's hard to judge a mix purely based off of you know speakers like this and a situation like this um it sounded really clear um i may have felt like maybe his and this depends on what he was going for it's a lady um, singer i don't feel like it was all that catchy to me so like i probably need to hear it a few different times to to remember it um but overall i mean i like it i think they're they're great musicians um I kind of like that they did something different than just a performance. There's a little bit of theatrics going on in there too, like with the mirrors and the talking. I will say the mirrors and the talking back and forth is also a common thing. Um, but hey, everything's been done before. Maybe it's about doing it better. You never know. That is the most definition. Lots of verses, lots of chapters, breakdown of uh, 58 seconds of a song we've had from a guest in a while. Well done. <laughs> You're uh your Dexter I, trivia. I hear it a lot. Um, I'm I'm like in it to win it. I try to anyway. Well, well done. Your Dexter trivia is as follows. Dexter pins the Bay Harbor butcher on what police officer? What is the name of the police officer that he pins? They basically are like, you're the Bay Harbor butcher and he gets away. What is the name of the officer that takes the fall? Oh, it's that, it's that, uh, that dude who's like super mean. Dokes. Surprise, that is correct, Sergeant, Sergeant Dokes. Yeah, hell yeah. Well done. Well done. Let's see what it lands on. And it is going to land on. Add something to the wheel. So this wheel has like hot sauce, bong ribs, chug beers, like stuff like that. What do you think would be a cool thing that I should add to the wheel? 
Okay, give me examples of what's on the wheel again. So the wheel has a, a shoey, is like to pour a beer into a shoe. Uh, talk about the festival we have coming up. I can change my, I have like a face filter thing on at all times. Uh, you uh, take a shot, bong rip. Uh, a free weight skip is I have to shoot like a review reaction video for somebody. A golden ticket means they automatically make the tournament. So there's prizes and stuff, but uh, most of it is like stuff that tortures me. Don't, okay. Don't go too crazy. So um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a glutton for punishment. I think it should be sing the highest note you can. Okay. I'm a little ill too, so this is going to be hard, but sing the highest note I can. Heard. And I will. It's no matter. Do you ever do you ever jam hip hop, dude? So I, I do here and there. I will say my stuff's a little bit more older tasting. Like I listen to definitely uh, more of like the late nineties, early two thousands rap and hip hop. I don't know why. Me too. But I just happen to. So but usually the stuff I listen to is uh, a little less modern, personally. Some Nas, Biggie, stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. Uh, what do you got planned the rest of the day once you're done with this? So I literally just got off work around like six o'clock whenever they were telling me like, hey, jump on, jump on. Um, um, I got a living room full of kids right now, so I'll probably make sure they haven't destroyed the place. Get them all ready for, oh, I have to cook dinner first and then get them ready for bed. Hell yeah. Well, go cook them dinner, sir. We appreciate you spending some time with us. Jameson of Dispositions. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, man. Enjoy the rest of your day, All sir. Right. We appreciate it. Don't be safe, guys. Cheers. Heck yeah.